Welcome back to the channel. If you don't already know me, my name is Tremaine. And in this episode, it gets, today was a really crazy day. And the, the main theme of this episode is emotional resilience. Do you have the emotional resilience not to check out when it seems like things are topsy-turvy and not working out the way uh, you want them to work out? But before I get into that, you're gonna see how I started my day. I'm not gonna give it all away, but I almost wasn't able to record any videos because I didn't have a power source. But anyway, check this out. So I've been having trouble with my charger and I need to get a, a new one because it's hindering my ability to record consistently. So I'm here at the electronic shop. It's not open yet, so I need one immediately because if I don't get one, I'm not gonna be able to record like I want to. So oh, I think they're opening at, I don't even have the hours on there. Hmm. Yeah, so I think they're opening at around 10. So I'm a half hour early. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna do my best to get this resolved so that I can continue, you know, documenting. Um, but uh, bear with me here. I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties uh, with this, but while I still have a little bit of battery, I wanted to just, you know, put something down as I go on this hunt to try to find a charger right now. I guess they're closed too, so it looks like I'm gonna have to play the waiting game for a little bit. So with that said, I'm gonna get some coffee. One side of uh, entrepreneurship and venture building, that, that's, it's, I guess it's being talked about a little bit more than before, is the emotional piece of it. And how you have to be so emotionally resilient to make it through this, or you're not gonna make it through. You're gonna, you're gonna check out. So I just got a call I just got a message back from a partner that I'm working with. And a lot of things we arranged. A lot of things we arranged in a weekend. So just in two days, a lot of things we arranged. Um, so I'm sitting here trying to process that rearrangement, not allowing the emotional piece to infect um, me in a way that takes you in a, on a downward spiral. Um, but that's a piece of the, the emotional resilience that you have to have um, in order to make it through this, or you're not going, you're gonna tap out every single time. Um, that's why most people don't, you know, don't, they don't put themselves in this position to try to start anything, which I don't blame them for the most part. I don't blame, I don't blame them at all. But this is not for everybody. This is not for the faint of heart. So how you respond to these things, you have to adapt. You know, you have to adapt, be able to adapt pretty fast um, and that's what I'm doing right now. So, you know, I take it in, I kind of let, let it hit me for a little bit and then I just let it go and then adapt. Cause the business is changing, you know, we're, it's very volatile. The business is changing. So we have to adapt to the changes and the changes could be external changes, um, whether it be the market or it could be an internal um, thing. It could be a you know, personnel issue, um, but you still have to lead through this and that's and that's this is where character is made this is where character is built uh in this times of i want to call it a crisis but it is you know it's a crisis situation um because i'm working directly with the ceo 
So yeah, it's a crisis situation. So you you, you got to be you got to be resilient through this. So. I want to go one layer deeper. Um, right. And this idea of being adaptable is the other piece of it is is really being able to get to a place of clarity and and asking yourself what is a what's unfolding in front of me right now. Like I said, this script is writing itself. So one of the things I also have to say is to myself is what's unfolding before me right now, and in that unfolding, what would I be doing? if I wasn't influenced by like my preferences. Like I prefer things to go this way, but they're not going this way, they're going another way. So being able to go a layer deeper and asking yourself what's unfolding and how do you ride this way? Yo, what's up? I'm here with my man, Alex. Hey, what's up? Yeah, and I'm um, from Eagle Tech and I told you this morning that, you know, I, I lost my, you know, my charger wasn't working. So I came in here. This dude gave me great service. And if you're ever down here, come down to visit. What, what's, what's your address? 15 North 6th Street. 15 North 6th Street. Eagle Tech. So perfect timing. My wife uh, just bought me some lunch. So I'm about to eat something. Let me get this out of the way. So I'm about to eat something really quick. Uh, before I eat something, I, I, this, as you saw, this morning has been really hectic um, in a sense that, you know, my, my battery wasn't charging with the phone. That got taken care of. I had got some interesting news uh, from a partner that I'm working with. Um, that's being resolved right now. But the main thing that, you know, I always learn, I, I learned through this and I stress is you have to be emotionally resilient. Um, and I talked about it before, but I just wanna just state it again, like the, the idea of being emotionally resilient through this and not allowing um, it to take you in different, your mind to go in different directions, negative directions. So that, that, is, that, is, that is really critical. And sometimes uh, just taking a walk, just go take a walk and just allowing yourself to debrief from everything is, um, is, a, is a key piece as well uh, so that you don't get smothered by by these things, you can just you can stay steady and go with the flow because the wave is coming, and that it's a it's actually a good thing when you when you see resistance when you're up against open this, up, open this up. when you start seeing this resistance that's how you know things are starting to are starting to work in your favor because for a long time sometimes it seems like nothing's working in your favor. And then all of a sudden, things start working in your favor. So, and, so, and the signal to that is resistance. Sometimes the signal to that is resistance. Um, so use the resistance as a tool to let you know that, okay, I'm possibly on the right path. Now's not the time to check out. Now's the time to be more creative um, than ever before. So now we're just having that conversation with a friend of mine at the coffee shop recently. Just today too so he's going through some some challenging times and I was just telling him you this, this this is the time this is what character is made and if you check out of this process you're gonna miss what's on the other side um, and that's the point you don't want to miss what's on the other side of the resistance I'm gonna tell you the same thing I was telling um, a friend of mine earlier today and I was telling him and emphasizing to him is that now is not the time to be scared. Now is not the time. Um, we're in a different time. And now is not the time to be scared when these crises hit, when these challenge, challenges that we face, it's easy just to curl back up and just go, you know, you know, go and do your own thing. But now is the time to really dig deep, find some courage, and fight through what it is that you're going through because, like I said, on the other side is where, that's hot. On the other side, that's where everything's at. So now is not the time to be scared. I'm gonna emphasize that. Don't be scared.
man, I totally forgot. I have a meeting. Um, so I'm on the planning committee for my family reunion, and I just <laughs> just realized I have a meeting. Um, it was 10 minutes ago, so I'm going to jump on that really quick. I totally forgot about it. Um, I just got so caught up in visioning. I've been spending some time visioning, um, and I'm just writing, taking some notes down here, but totally slipped my mind. Let, let me jump. about to rain right when I'm about to leave. So I see the clouds forming, so we'll see. If I make it home and I get rained on. I, and I forgot my umbrella. I've only missed one. If you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. I do not take it lightly. If there's anything that resonates, please, Leave comments, do a like. We wanna make sure that the algorithms know that something exciting is happening. It's bubbling up, it's a matter of time. Uh, with that said, peace.